Welcome to Scentsy. So if you're watching this video, chances are you just started your own Scentsy business. Congratulations, welcome. Um, this video is going to be just a general quick tutorial of what to, um, what to do first while you're waiting for your starter kit to arrive. So in the next video, we'll talk about what the contents are of your starter kit and what they, how you use them. This video is just mainly gonna be um, what should you do in this meantime while you're waiting. So the first thing that I want to encourage you to do is to poke around your workstation. So you joined, you signed up, you got your login information for your workstation. That is essentially your back office. That is your access to all of the things on your side of the business. So that's where you would input orders. That's where you would check your pay portal. That's where you would look at your account, sign up for um, different subscriptions that we offer. So the first thing that I want to encourage you to do is to log into your workstation. I'm logged into mine here. And first thing is um, get to know the dashboards. Your dashboard is the very beginning, the very first page that you see, and it will tell you um, the different, there's different um, tabs on the left-hand side. So there's the, the home, which is your main screen. Um, there's orders. This is where you would go to submit orders. We'll talk about that in a different video um, where I, I'm actually going to show you um, on my end. I'll do a little walkthrough with you on that one. There's reporting. So this is where you would go to see your personal numbers um, as well. This is where you would go if you wanted to look at your commission report once commissions run. Um, and then once you start building a team, this is where you would also go to see your team's numbers. Um, there's also, um, I'm going to skip a couple of them, the news tab. This is a really important tab for you to go to. This is where you're going to find all of the latest Sensi news. So I would click on the news tab and make sure that you change the filters to, to sort it for the, the latest or the most recent news. Um, that is the most um, time sensitive, most relevant information. Um, there's also a training tab, which I encourage you to poke around and look through. That has a lot of helpful information, um, especially when you're starting your business. And then the consultant store. So a lot of the things from the consultant store, you're actually going to see in your starter kit when it arrives. But there's a lot of things that we don't have in our starter kit that are fun things to get from the consultant store. So make sure you peek around there um, to get an idea of what is in there. So at the very top, there is going to be a spot for you to click on your account. So in your account, let's see, I'm gonna move you for just a second. Um, in your account, while you're waiting for your kit to arrive, there is going to be, um, so on, up on the top by the search, it says search Sensi Success. It'll have your name with a little drop down. Click on account. Um, this is where I want you to kind of play around first. So scroll down, it's gonna tell you your profile information. That's all your basic personal information, your shipping address, make sure that's current, um, and then your, um, your login information for your workstation. Um, your language preferences, and then how you would like your award. So we have charms and we have pins, um, and then what you would like your name on your award to be. There's also a way for you to link your social profile. So if you wanted to link your Facebook or link your Pinterest, you could do that there. Um, but right here is a spot. Okay, so if you, and the monthly subscriptions, scent of the month and scent and warmer of the month. We'll talk about those later too, but um, this in the account tab, this is where you would go to um, to subscribe to one of those as well. Um, once you're in for a while, this is where your tax information will be too. So I'm going to click on personal website. I'm gonna click edit. Yep, that's what I was looking for. And then it's gonna have, it's gonna say customize your website. So this is gonna have your name, so mine is sarahbeeman.sensi.us, save that. Um, this is where I want you guys to go to upload a current picture. If you do not upload a current picture of your face, um, it's gonna do a basic uh, generic picture of a warmer. And when people go to your website to order, you want them to see your face, uh, filtered or unfiltered, um, goofy or professional, it doesn't really matter, but you want them to see your face. So go ahead and upload a current picture. 
as well, click on tell your story and then just type a little blurb about why you love Sensi, a little bit about yourself. Um, when people go to your website, they have something that they can read to connect to you personally, what your hobbies are, what you like. Um, and then down at the bottom, you can also customize your join page and then customize what your favorite fragrances are, what you're warming in your home. So save that. So that's pretty much besides navigating and kind of exploring your workstation. That's all I want you to do for now. So I want you to just edit your, um, your personal website. Um, and then just kind of toy around, get an idea and a feel for what those things are. Um, I also want to encourage you to set up a, a, sh a shopping link. So I guess we'll do that real quick. So back on the left hand side on your main dashboard page, you're going to see um, a tab called order. So you're going to click on orders and then it's going to say create a party. So you're going to click on create a party, name your party. You can name your party, whatever you want. If it's your launch party, you could say create, um, you know, you say my launch party or just launch party, click continue. And let's see, I'm going to launch party demo here. All right, click continue. And then it's gonna ask you to put in host information. So it's your launch party. Um, you can add yourself as the host. Now, if you have somebody else who's gonna be hosting um, your launch party for you, maybe you have um, a mom or a sister or a friend who said, hey, I'll host your first party. This is where you would put their name. If you don't have anybody and it's just you, just click the use consultant as host um, box and that'll already input all your information. Shipping address, click my address, that means it'll ship to you. And then you'll click save and continue. I mean, that is unless you wanted it to go to a UPS access point, but um, typically um, you would want it to ship to you. And then it's gonna pull up this online party page. So it says, would you like your party on your PWS? PWS is personal website, make sure you click yes. Um, not every time you'll click yes, but basically that means that when people go to your personal website, your shopping link, they click on sarahbeeman.sensi.us. It brings them to the shopping page, um, not your workstation, but your actual website. When they click on open parties, that means that this party is gonna show up as a party they can attach their order to, which you do want, you want them to do that. So then you can customize your party message. You can input videos or images, um, featured products. They also have basic, um, defaults that are already on there. So you don't have to if you don't want to, but it is a good way to customize it. Um, and then your end date. This is where step number four is where you can customize your end date. So um, make that whatever you want it to be. And then it, it'll give you the opportunity to copy the link and post it. So this is where you would copy the link and share it with your people. So we'll talk more about this when we talk about launch parties, but that's what you should get set up to. So navigate your workstation, get your personal website customized, and then go ahead and create an online party link just while we're waiting for our starter kit to arrive. And in the next video, let's check out what is in our starter kit and what we're supposed to do with all those things.